So, here we are again with another edition of CSI Clare. Clare Schools Investigate. And we've got a very interesting one this morning as we talk about and talk to Connor Cleary. Now, Connor is Claire's Mr. Reliable, not only as a defender, but also in terms of timekeeping. It was a lesson learned at under 10 level for Kilmaley when led to a match in Clooney Quinn left him devastated to have missed some valuable game time. He has never forgotten that lesson and also won't forget his CSI experience for a while either as the Milltown Malbay Club and serves his time with some insightful questions from the boys and girls of St. Fenachta's National School in Six Mile Bridge. Hi, my name is Tommy, and if you were to pick any hurler from all time, who would you play against? Uh, I suppose from all time, we're not looking in a clear perspective, so um, someone I always really admired was JJ Delaney from Kikini. I thought he was you know, a very stylish defender, and I suppose he played in that great Kikini team as well. Definitely from the point of view of um, someone that I kind of really admired as a hurler would be JJ Delaney. Yeah. Hi, my name is Connor. When you are selected for the clear panel, what sacrifices do you have to make? For example, do you have to eat healthy and follow a special diet? Yeah, I suppose when I first come into the panel in 19, it is, um, you know, there is a lot of sacrifices to make at that stage because it is a big jump up from where, from what you what you normally be doing in your life, like I suppose around things like healthy eating and things like that. You might think you're eating healthy, like, but you wouldn't be, there's an awful lot more you can do, like, you know, we're, we're very lucky with nutrition and stuff like that. I wouldn't really call them sacrifices at this stage because but especially when you're at the very start, they probably are. I suppose the more kind of lifestyle changes and sacrifices like would be a big thing because um, when you're on the panel, say a couple of years, they just kind of it's the way of life. Don't feel like you know you're you're training your three or four times a week and you're you're getting your recovery and your diet and stuff like that. So you actually begin to enjoy it like you know, once the um, once you get into the routine of it. Hi, my name's TJ, and my question is: Who is the hardest player to ever mark in training or a match? If I say Shane O'Donnell. Um, even Mark Rogers, uh, Shane Eaton at the moment are very, very tough lads to mark. But I'd say if I if I pick a toughest, it probably would be uh, Tony Kelly. I think Tony's very good at reading situations, and if you expect him to do one thing, he nearly he nearly reads it and does another thing. Like we played him in club championship last year, and he he was in a position that he could score a point, and it looked like he was going for the point. But in the blink of an eye, then he had turns and he had a ball in the fellow's hand. He probably would be the toughest I've marked, and because of that um, unpredictability, kind of sets him apart really. Hi, my name is Alex. Uh, what do you do on your free time? Yeah, I suppose in the, 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 the free time we have, I'm, I'm living in this at the moment, so I like to, I like to get back home to meet Tom Elvin and uh, say, meet the parents, my brother and stuff, and I suppose spend some time with my girlfriend too, going off to do something with her, and even meeting up with the Midtown community lads and going for a bit of food or some, say, a bit of golf or something. Or it's a good thing to be able to just leave the hurry down in the evening or or for a few hours and go off and do something else like you come back a lot fresher Hi my name is Mikey and uh, how much holidays have you broke? Back to very clean like it's usually the hurdies that are broken off us from the forwards like I think we're finally starting to win a few frees as well so the, the, the tide is turning in that sense but I said the same hurdy for a while now I'd be um, I'd be lucky enough I hadn't even known to Sean Torfey too much for, for spare hurdies but um, no it's more, it's more so the forwards that we had that crack we'd be very clean as back very clean as backs for sure. Uh, thank you, Connor. You can get the chance to try and break Connor's hurley by winning a training session with the Clare Senior Hurling Team by signing up for Club Clare membership before March. Check out clubclare.com for membership options and Clare's Hurling and Camogie Supporters Club.